Hi, Chef Johnny V here. Now that it's started to get a little bit cooler, we all start to crave comfort food. I'm such a big fan of comfort food, I devoted an entire chapter on comfort foods in my cookbook that I called Comforting Covered Casseroles. When we come back, I'm going to show you a quick French cassoulet that is a classic recipe, but given that American spin, quick and easy. We'll be right back. Welcome back. For our French cassoulet, if you think about it, cassoulet is sort of like a French roadkill, if you will. It's a casserole with white beans, but one of the most important ingredients is called confit of duck. Confit of duck is actually a way of preserving duck, where we marinate it in salt and sugar and spices overnight, and then cook it very slowly in goose fat, covered with goose fat, in fact. To find the full recipe, we'll look for it on our website, but what we're going to do is take our confit of duck and shred it and get it all ready for our cassoulet. And this should be nice and tender and ready to go. Look at how delicious that is. I have to admit, I am a leg man. To assemble my cassoulet, which is from the Languedoc region of France, I've already browned my chicken and I've browned my sausage and I'm going to add my confit of duck. Now the reason I refer to this as a roadkill is of course in France you can put anything there sometimes would be rabbit, goose, pork. Today we're doing a little simpler version and I'm going to now brown my onions with my confit and my pork sausage just to use that as the fat to brown the onions. We're also going to add our garlic. Just think about all these wonderful flavors coming together. Let those onions brown just a little bit and then we're going to add our chicken chicken stock and dry vermouth, another key ingredient. I also refer to this dish as sort of a one dish wonder because if you think about it, everything is being done in that same pan. Okay, we've got our chicken stock. We're going to get all those yummy brown crunchy bits off the bottom. Dry vermouth and white cannellini beans. Now, of course, in France, they would have cooked these beans all day long. Because we're at high altitude, we're using canned, rinsed beans. And that is another secret step to making this dish quicker. Drained to canned tomatoes. Oh my god, this smells so delicious already. Dra uh, fresh thyme, pepper, and some parsley. Let's stir this all together and now we're going to want this to reduce for about 10 minutes. Just to sort of thicken it up a little bit. This shouldn't really be a soup. It's really more of a stew. And then I'm going to top it with toasted breadcrumbs. Just plain breadcrumbs that I sauteed in some butter. And we're going to cover our cassoulet with the breadcrumbs. The term cassoulet actually comes from the uh, vessel that this dish is normally prepared in, traditionally a porcelain dish. So uh, we're doing it just in an open casserole dish. So cassoulet, casserole, topped with these breadcrumbs and then delicious, great winter and autumn dish to serve. Our cassoulet has thickened up nicely and now we'll top it with our toasted breadcrumbs and half a stick of butter. And this is actually going to kind of soak up and give the top of our cassoulet a wonderful crust. And oh my god, this looks so delicious. And then into the oven, and really everything's cooked. So all we're doing now is letting those uh, flavors all cook together. And when we come back, we're going to taste our cassoulet. Our cassoulet is ready. Ici le cassoulet. Ooh, it's bubbling. It looks delicious. Let's get this out. Gorgeous. We're going to dish that up. We had a French gentleman that worked in the store for years who has had the traditional cassoulet his entire life and he actually thought that mine was a pretty good uh, version of it. So let's see what we have here. Ooh. That's for my mystery guest. Oh yes, boy this is going to be hot. All of these flavors have come together. Notice our liquid has been absorbed, kind of went into our beans there, so all that flavor will be there. Have a little glass of vino to taste with this. And let's try our quick French cassoulet. Delicious and hot. Cheers, see you next time.